It's another day, another video. That's what I like to say. Today, I'm going back up in the attic. We're going to get these lights that we installed heated up, and I've got a couple junction, ju junction boxes to install too. Okay? You want to come up with me to the attic? Let's go. I'm deep into the mouth of the demon. Here's our lights. Does that look familiar? Look at that. There's four in a row, and then that one way back there is the one above the kitchen sink. Now see the long wire that's coming out of here. I just got it shoved over here. We're going to take that wire, and we're going to go over to that light fixture. And then from there, remember this next light fixture? I installed the two pigtails on it. One of those wires, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to take and put over to there. Okay? That's my next step. And I'm going to wire that exactly like how I showed you down on the floor. Except I have to do it up here. Okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you that one. But eventually after that, the, this other wire, got two wires coming out of this can. Remember? One goes there. The other one is going to go over to that light fixture right there. And I think that's the one I'll show you what I'm going to do on that. Okay. Then from there, I've got to cut a wire from there to that one. And then from that one, i got to go over to the junction box. And this junction box has the main power line in here. Remember, I got the wire nuts on there, and I remembered to shut the breaker off before I came up here so there's no power right there. And then that power feeds the other wire that comes up here and that goes over to a junction box and that junction box continues the wire over the existing wire that went down to the light switch. There's a few things I've got to do up here. Step by step, follow this through and I think you'll understand how I'm going to do it. Now I have to do this strategically with my camera because it's going to get all dusty up here. And you see all this pink stuff. That's the blow-in insulation. The dark stuff was only down up against the sheetrock ceiling. Maybe a couple inches it matted down and then they came in here and blew in all this insulation. That's one way to do it. Or they can come in here and drag uh, two by four or two by eight long pieces of uh, insulation, roll it out. They decided to do it like this. So see, look at all this stuff. I got it all piled up here. I got a pile over there, one there, one over here. It's everywhere. So when I get done, because see I had it, I had to move some of it so that I could crawl around on the ceiling joists. These ceiling joists are actually six inches tall. And underneath that is the sheetrock. So when I get done with all this, I'm going to gently grab this stuff. <laughs> gently grab. There you go. Um, and reposition it around everything. Okay. And as for that, when you look at the can lights, you want to see which, how they're rated, whether or not you can put insulation right up against it. Now, if you're using CFL, compact fluorescent lamps or something like that, you might want to make sure how close you can put the insulation. Now, these are LED lights. They don't put off very much heat at all. You can, you can pretty much put insulation around these cans because in the old days, the incandescent bulbs, you got these cans get really hot. You put the insulation right up against it, and, and sometimes you got bat insulation, which has paper on one side, and then maybe you get that cut too tight against there, and it could heat up and start a fire. And so they make you cut the insulation, leave a gap around these light fixtures, okay? There's a tip for you. Make sure you check it out. Just a reminder, when you get all done with your project, I know it's the last thing you want to do is say, oh, I'm tired, I'll get back to it later, and I'll crawl back up there and reposition all the insulation. Do it before you get done. That's one of your last things on your project. 
so you know you won't have to come back up here in this attic. You want to get everything covered. You know, you paid a lot of money for this blowing insulation. Why leave it like this now? Okay, reposition it when you're done.